The 1967 NFL Championship game between the Dallas Cowboys and the Green Bay Packers started like any other, with the head referee blowing his whistle to signal the start of the play. However, the referees refused to use their whistles for the rest of the game. Why? I'll say that one more time. The 1967 NFL Championship between the Dallas Cowboys and the Green Bay Packers started like any other, with the head referee blowing uh, his whistle to signal the start of play. However, the referees refused to use their whistles for the rest of the game. Why? Refused. Refuse is such a strong word. Mm. Like, not like I'm not gonna. It's like, no. It's a very strong word. Yes. It's a weird thing because it's not like a noise thing because surely there's like noise at the ma- at the game or battle. God, I know nothing about sport. Well, there's, <laughs> there's a, a sleeping baby somewhere in the crowd. The entire <laughs> the entire <laughs> auditorium, the stadium, the word stadium. We established that before. <laughs> the entire stadium. <laughs> And the referee's never just, oh, okay, we'll, we'll let the child sleep. We'll play this game in silence. Ooh. Wow. That's a good challenge. The Vegas bets did not have that on the books, I don't <laughs> think. <laughs> Were the crowd just bringing their own whistles to confuse? Like the, the home team would just had a load of people whistling in the crowd just to annoy the referees and throw them off and, and give one team an advantage. You know, funny you say that, Tom, because I know, especially here in like um, American sports, I don't know if it happens elsewhere, but there are moments sometimes where referees have to tell like stadiums and crowds to actually reduce the amount of noise during some plays. Because oh. if, you if, if you're in a home stadium, it can get so loud, whether that, and mostly foot, um, you know, NFL games, to bring the noise level down, college football, bring the noise level down. Yeah. Oh, I know there's at least one stadium where I think you get hearing damage on the pitch if you don't have earplugs in or something because the, oh. the whole stadium is just a bowl that focuses the crowd noise and it oh is my gosh. deafening. Oh. Oh. Yeah. I don't want that. It's a magnifying glass for sound. Wow. I got an idea. I got an idea. Were there lots of dogs in the local <laughs> area? You can <laughs> say it going. Going. <laughs> Yeah. What that whistle is going to send them crazy. So you don't use it because you don't want to upset the local dogs. I will say these are just normal whistles. Nothing was wrong with them. Just normal whistles. Or like like a Pied Piper rat situation where like the, the whistle noise is going <laughs> to awaken the rats in at the stadium. Oh, I wonder what if the stadium comes into play, like the location of the stadium or where they are. Cowboys is Texas. <laughs> Packers is Green Bay. Wisconsin. Wisconsin. So that's about as far south and as far north as you can get in the US. The Frozen Tundra. That's the nickname. But also, was, it, Field. was this just a game or was this like a bowl game or a Super Bowl or something like that? Uh, this was the NFL championship uh, game. So Green Bay Packers, uh, its nickname is Frozen Tundra. So is it was it like super cold or something and they didn't want their, their lips out? They, they, and they were cold whistle. If the whistle is cold <gasps> and then you put it to your mouth, you'll let, you'll get a whistle stuck on your mouth. That's how science <laughs> works, right? I've seen yes. that. Yes. Yes. Oh my gosh. Uh, I will say that is how science works, and <laughs> that is actually the answer. Oh, no. so oh, no. you are exactly right. So the game was played in Wisconsin, and um, well, what happened? It was so cold up there. It was down to negative. The kickoff was at negative twenty six centigrade, which is negative fifteen Fahrenheit. A wind chill of negative forty four centigrade which is negative 48 Fahrenheit. But Lizzie, you're right. Because the whistles were metal, it would get stuck to the referee's lips. Oh my God, how funny. When they pulled it off, their lips would then bleed. So what what happened throughout the game, they just improvised using hand signals and just uh, talking like back and forth. So voice commands and hand signals that they usually do. Um, It's the NFL, so they'll now have invented extremely expensive whistle warmers that all referees have in their pockets. (laughs) Just to, just to do that. <laughs> now, the, actually, the NFL does use plastic whistles now because of that reason. So they used metal back then. Wow. They use plastic, and this was the called the ice bowl, the famous ice bowl that you may hear from sports um, history. That was played at uh, in Wisconsin on the thirty first of December. So it was so cold that referees couldn't use metal whistles because they would get stuck to the lips. I think not just stuck. I think the 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 really colorful word you used was ripped off. <laughs> Their lip skin. 
<laughs> I like how we all got there in one way. Like we, we had pieces together from Tom and Karen and Lizzie's like, oh, mm, science. 